mode, menu, uh, a simultaneous equation, two equations to announce. Negative sine of 30. Sine 75. Zero. Cosine of 30. Cosine of 75. 400. These are the answers for C and D. Answer for C, 400 pounds. For D, 207.06 pounds. Next joint. Uh, negative 1. Sine 45. Negative 400. Sine of 30. Zero. Cosine 45. 300 plus 400 cosine of 30. This is the answer for chord A, 846.41 pounds. For chord B, 914.16 pounds. Okay, how we did that? For details, continue watching this video. Similar to process where the direction of each members are given, you can go directly to your calculator and solve for the unknown forces. Okay? Hello everyone, I'm June Vert of Matalino. In this problem, we are going to discuss the solution for problem 317 where we are going to solve for the internal forces acting at A, at chord B, C, and D. Okay? For the details of our calculator, you watched earlier, we have this solution. The first thing to do is to draw the free body diagram. Okay? Let us start with the joint. We have these two joints, this upper joint and this lower joint. Let us start at the joint where there are only two unknowns. So for these two joints, the, two, the joint that contains two unknowns only is this lower joint. We have this uh, unknown C and unknown D. So let us start in here. We cannot start at this joint. Why? Because there are three unknowns in here, A, B, and C. Okay? These are our forces, the 400 pounds, the weight of the block here. Then we have this uh, forces C and D. Okay? The, they are tension. If you see this 400 pounds downward force, the reaction forces for C and D are obviously upward. They are in tension. These members are cords. They can only take tension. They cannot uh, take compressive force. Okay? Solve for C and D. Let us establish our XY plane. So this is our XY plane. Coordinate axis. The rotation of C and D are given from the figure. Okay, let us start. Summation of forces in the x direction, zero. For force C, the x component of this force is to the left. So we have this negative C. The x component is opposite to this 30 degrees, which means sine of 30. Plus to the right, the component of this force D is to the right, meaning positive. We have this plus D. The x component is opposite to this 75 degrees sine of 75. There is no other force in the direction of x, so we will equate this to zero. Okay? Next, summation of forces in the vertical direction zero. Obviously, this C and D are both upward, so they are both positive. For the C, the, the y component is cosine of 30. Okay? For the value of D, the y component is cosine of 75. There is only one downward force, the 400. That is equal to 400. Grab your calculator. Okay? Two equations to announce. You can get this answer. Uh, the same answers from our previous solution. We have the C is 400 pounds. Tension. D is 207.06 pounds. Also tension. Actually, this is the equation we did earlier without writing. 
by just looking at the given figure, we can actually write this equation. Okay? Now, let us go to the upper joint. Okay? Now, for this upper joint, we only have two unknowns left. We already solved for the value of C. Okay? We have this unknowns A and B only. So, we can solve this problem. This is the force C. Okay? How about the 300 pounds that is downward? This is the A, this is the B. This is the force A. And let us again establish our XY plane, horizontal and vertical. Now, this is 30 degrees from the vertical, the C. How about this angle? What is this angle? Of course, from here, uh, from 300 pounds to the y, to the positive y-axis, a total of 180 degrees minus 30 minus 105. What uh, remains is 45 degrees. Okay? So our force B is 45 degrees from the vertical. Summation of forces in the vertical direction zero. You may notice that if we sum up forces in the vertical direction, it will not involve the value of A. So we can get directly the value of B. Okay? Let's go. We have this B. Cosine of 45 that is for the vertical direction of B. Vertical component, I mean, of B. So we have this cosine of 45. is equal to downward. The downward forces, we have this 300. And the y component of this 400 pounds force. So we have this 400 cosine of 30. This is the value of B. Okay? Summation of forces in the horizontal direction, we have this value of A to the left, is equal to forces to the right. The forces to the right are B and C. Let us write first the value of B, that is B, 914.16, sine of 45, that is opposite to 45 degrees. So, sine of 45. For the value of C, that is also opposite to 30, which means 400 sine of 30. And this is the answer for force A. 846.41 pounds. Okay? Now, for those who are interested only to this type of solution, the component method, then you are dismissed. Okay? Bye-bye! <laughs> but for those of you who are uh, who wanted more insights for this problem or for another twist or another solution or another approach, then continue watching this video. Let's go! Now, what if we are going to use the rotation of axis? If you notice, we did not use the two equations to announce for solving the A and B, not like in our earlier solution in the calculator only that we use two equations to announce. In here, we take advantage to the condition of A wherein A has no vertical component. Okay? That's why we go directly to the summation of forces in the vertical direction because it did not involve the unknown A. Okay? Now, let us apply that type of advantage to joint A by rotating our axis so that one of its axes is coincidence with the unknown. Let us say we are going to rotate this X so that this X axis will coincide with the force D. Okay? Let us rotate that one. Like that one. Okay? So, we rotated this uh, axis by 15 degrees. Am I right? This is our new coordinate axis, X and Y. So, we have this 15 degrees. Can you see that? Why it is 15 degrees? Because we have this 75. So, this is 15 degrees. Total of 90. Now, what is this angle? Of course, that is... Uh, 90 because this line and this line are 90 degrees so this is 75 okay how about this angle okay this angle here is 15 degrees which means the opposite of that is also 15 degrees and because this is 30 degrees the other side is also 15 degrees okay this line and this line are in 90 degrees meaning this angle which is our concern for now, is 90 degrees minus this angle, which is 15. This is also 75 degrees. Now, let us clean up our drawing. 
Okay, let us start. Summation of forces in the y direction, we can solve for C. It will not involve the value of D. Okay, summation of forces in the vertical direction, we have the upward, the positive direction of C. C sine of 75 is equal to downward. We have this 400 sine of 75. That is not 15. <laughs> sine of 75. This is typo. And just uh, erase that one. Let us replace that with 75. Okay? 75 degrees. Human error. Okay? 75 degrees. So we have this. C is also 400 pounds. The same in our earlier solution. Summation of forces in the x direction. We have this value of D. Purely in the x direction. Okay? Next. C. Okay? To the left. That is, is equal to C, which is 400, cosine of 75 times 2. Why? They have the same magnitude and also 75 degrees from the horizontal. Uh, the same horizontal component in the x direction. We have this value of D, 207.06 pounds. Okay? That is for the rotation of axis. How about another method? I may, uh, let me erase this one. Eraser. The typo. 75 degrees. <laughs> let us do the polygon method. Okay? Let us uh, go back to our horizontal and vertical orientation of our X and Y axis. Okay? That's it. These are the original directions. And let us start with the 400 pounds downwards. From the vertical, we have this force D. 75 degrees from the vertical. We have this closing line C, which is 30 degrees from the vertical. Okay? What is this angle? Okay? That is uh, 180 degrees minus 75 minus 30, meaning this is also 75. What can you say about this figure? 75, 75, 30. Meaning, these two are equal. Isosceles triangle. Okay? This is an isosceles triangle. Meaning, our value of C is also 400. 400. Okay? Uh, we solve for C by just looking at the figure. Isosceles. Now, how to solve for D? Because this is isosceles triangle, we can uh, bisect this 30 degrees angle. We create a bisector line in that point. Then, we can solve for the cosine of 75. Cosine of 75 is equal to adjacent. This is D over 2 over the hypotenuse. Okay? Adjacent is D over 2. The hypotenuse is 400. Solve for D. That is 400 times 2 times cosine of 75. We have this answer, 207.06 pounds. The same answer to our previous solution. Okay? How about this free body diagram? Let us solve this free body diagram by polygon method. Let us clean up the screen. If you notice, we already have four forces in this uh, free body diagram. Now, for polygon method, it is convenient if you only have three forces because you are only dealing with triangle. But for this one, we will be dealing with quadrilateral. Anyway, for the sake of discussion, let us proceed. Let us uh, first, let us draw the 300 pounds force. Okay? Then, let us connect the tail of this C to the head of the 300. This is our C in the direction of 30 degrees from the vertical. Am I right? So this is the 30 degrees. And then, from the vertical, we have this uh, B, 45 degrees from the vertical. Okay? This is 45 degrees. And for A, to the left. Okay? That is the closing line A. Now, what is the value of B and what is the value of A from this figure. What are their lengths? A and B. Okay? How to do that? Now, from geometry, we can say that the vertical component of this B, we call that BV, is equal to 300 plus the vertical component of 400. The vertical component of C. Therefore, BV is 300 plus CV. But what is CV? Okay? CV is 
400 cosine of 30. So you can see that our BV is this one. The BV is B cosine of 45. Am I right? This is the equation. It's equal to 300 plus CV. This is actually CV. Now uh, you have this answer. How about the length A? What is this length A in our figure? From the figure, we have this A is equal to CH. Plus what? Plus the horizontal component of B. We call that BH. Okay, so what is CH? From the figure, CH is the horizontal component of C. That is sine of 30. 400, CH is 400, sine of 30. Okay, how about BH? Take note that this triangle is 45 degrees triangle, meaning uh, the BH and the BV are equal. The BH is also equal to this one, which is, uh, where are you? 300 plus CV. So, substitute 300 plus CV actually, the, the B actually, if you, if you solve for B, this is the, the B. The BH is 914.16 sine of 45. That is the BH. If you are going to calculate that one, okay? You can do that. You're welcome. This is the B sine of 45. You can see that here, okay? The B sine of 45 plus CH 400 sine 30. The same answer for A, okay? I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.